Monday, and it's time to talk technology. Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group, back with us once again. Luis, welcome back to the program. Thank you, Mark. How are you today? Doing really well. So our lead story is about Joby Aviation. They were doing some testing on an EVTOL prototype, and it crashed recently. And we found out about this through some filings that they had to make, and the information about the crash was buried in the filing. First off, for those who don't know, what is Joby and what is an EVTOL? Yeah, so Joby Aviation is a really exciting company that's uh, originally started out of San Francisco, but now they're based in up in Marina, and they're using the old airfield up there to manufacture these electronic vertical takeoff and landing aircraft okay. that they're creating. Unlike regular uh, aircraft that are powered by jet-fueled engines, these are electronic, you know, they're, they're, they're battery electric operated. powered. Yeah, yeah, battery operated. They're designed for short range for essentially inner city type of flights. So example is, and Joby has an agreement with an organization in Japan that wants to use these to transport people to and from their major airports from outlying areas. They can go up up to a couple of hundred miles at 200 miles an hour. So they're not really designed to go across country or anything like that, but they're just these short hops that would make getting from point A to point B more convenient. And they're testing their aircraft down in Fort Hunter Liggett, where there are no people to potentially harm in case one of these things crashes, which is what happened with one of the prototypes. And a lot of people wondered, will this set Joby back? Their plans are these going to be hindered by the fact that this aircraft crashed. And the reality is that the aircraft crashed because it was undergoing FAA tests. And one of the uh, the tests that it has to do is to see how far the aircraft can fly outside of its safe zone before it crashes. And so it was kind of like almost an intentional thing. This is not the outcome that they wanted, but at the time there was no pilot on board. So it was being remotely flown. So nobody was injured. And the aircraft is, from what I've heard, yes, it crashed and it's in bad shape, but it can be repaired and will be back in the air within a few weeks. All right. So it was being pushed at over 270 miles an hour. The advertised top speed is 200 miles an hour, but that 270 represents about 1.3 times the top rated speed, and that's just part of the testing process. So we'll just keep an eye on the project as it moves forward. Luis Alvarez, CEO of the Alvarez Technology Group with us. It's AlvarezTG.com. At AlvarezTG is the Twitter handle. Luis, the toll-free number for the iTeam. Give us a call at 866-78-ITEAM. That's 866-784-8326.